Okay. Hey, everybody. Um, this is not all on our series, but I thought I'd do a quick review on um, this set I got from Amazon. I ordered from Amazon. It's the Paul Rubens um, small, the small Paul Rubens kind. Of, you know, it's got 12 colors in it. And I took the shrink wrap off and then I got this um, little uh, hot press sketchbook to go along with it. It's 100% cotton, 300 GSM, and um, these watercolors. I have opened them. I have swatched the colors out, but I just thought I'd show you how cute this comes. I really don't this is just going to be part of my collection and i purchased this with my own money so i thought this was a cute set to have so i bought it and i've swatched the color out colors out in my sketchbook and opened the paints but i can swatch them out um here on because it comes with a watercolor card now all this is written in chinese so, but I can take my water brush and just pick up the colors. And I'm telling you, they picked right up. So, I was real pleased with them. You know, I definitely think these are um, good watercolor set. And they was not that expensive. So, I mean, I did not pre-wet the palette before I started swatching. I've done some... They go down even better on this little swatch card. And I think this is watercolor paper. So that is lemon yellow and cadmium yellow. And here's cadmium red light. And this color is called... Um, rose red and this is called oh permanent violet rich rich pigments and this one the next one's called france ultramarine so you would think French ultramarine. It's nice. I really like them. My first impressions are good. And this next color is Payne's Gray. And it's more of a blue undertone. And the next one is Emerald Green Deep. That's sort of like a Viridian, I think. I could be wrong. Here's Yellow Ochre. It's nice. I can already tell it's granulating some. This one is called Umber, or no, yes, Umber. It's kind of like a burnt sienna. And this next one is like a burnt Umber and it's called Burnt Brown, Burned Brown. And this last one is called Coal Black. And it's a real nice dark black. It does not have a... Some blacks have a brown undertone, but that's just really nice India ink black. So, I really... So far, I like this. I'll put this aside. Like I said, this is a hot press sketchbook. 
or pad, or actually it's a watercolor block. So that means all of the pages are bound at the end, and then there's a little place at the top where you can stick a palette knife or a butter knife up at the top and tear them away. So we'll paint a little something right here. So I'm gonna put some water in the pan and I'm gonna get some of this um, rose red and see it just picks right up. And I'm just going to start making some petals. It's the first time I'm using this paper, very first time. It's kind of pooling up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block my brush off and kind of pick that up. so it doesn't blossom. Let's just see how well it, if I drop a, another color in. Say if I drop a little bit of this blue in. Uh, let's mix some and kind of Drop some pigment in there. I don't think I have enough water on my brush. Okay, let's just drop some blue in there. See how well it bleeds. Take some water off my brush. I'll let it mix on the paper. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing it take off like I'd want to, but um, we'll see. Okay, so let's mix up some green. So to this blue, I'm gonna add some yellow ochre. Get me a green going. Might add some of that. Um, emerald green, just to liven it up a little bit. They don't feel chalky at all. Okay, so let's just start that. Made that first leaf too big. Hmm. Okay. So Let's do another flower. Let's mix um, this rose red with some, gosh, that's just a lot of pigment. I like it, I like it. With some lemon yellow. And I'm gonna go in there after that without rinsing my brush. Yeah, I'm gonna 
to go back and clean it off. Okay. So that gives me a pretty good orange. I'm just going to pull some petals out here. Kind of mess them up, but kind of mess that one up. There we go. I can fix that other one. Let's drop some green, kind of let that bleed right there. Okay. This brush is a little bit too thirsty. Let's make, let's make a, a rose shape. And drop some darker in the center. Maybe some darker right there. The paper dries pretty fast. didn't leave enough white space in between those petals. Kind of reminds me of the colors of Hawaii. And this is wanting to not absorb very quickly. So I'm feeling like there's going to be back runs. So let me get more of that green and make a leaf. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to do for that one. But, however, I do have some um, Faber-Castell Albrecht Dürer um, watercolor pencils. So, I'm going to add a little bit of this to my painting. And... Just take a, I have a spotter brush, here it is. And just kind of take that and blend it out. That way I can put the color exactly where I want it. I just was messing around. You know, just 
with these pencils. So I'm kind of liking that. And then I was taking these red pencils. I was testing, I was just messing around with um, some Arches watercolor paper. And I was kind of getting, uh, liking the effect I was getting. So, yeah, and it just blends right in. These are good watercolor pencils. But yet you can see the line work, but yet it just blends right in. Yeah, I like that. I just think it, it really brings a lot to it. And so you could do, you know, you could do some stuff with, this is not the right color. Let me see if I can get the right color. Um, maybe, a, something that matches a little bit more. Orangey red. This is cadmium red light. Yeah, these are good watercolor pencils. Yeah, I like that. You could bring a lot of detail and a little bit easier to control than the brush. So I really like that. And, you know, we could, you could bring in some detail to your Rose. So, yeah, so I, I think I'm really going to like this um, set, and I think I'm going to keep it in the house for me to um, play around with, because it has all your essential colors. It has a cool yellow and a warm yellow, a warm red and a cool red, and um, warm blue, or this is the violet. So this is a purple, and just just so you know, I did some mixes. I did I did some mixes um, with these colors, and I mixed French ultramarine and burnt sienna, and I got these really nice neutrals, and this is just really pretty. This like grayish color. And then rose red and fringe ultramarine. And I got these really pretty granulating colors. I just love that. And then I took um, yellow ochre and um, fringe ultramarine and got these different tones of green. And then I did liven it up on the palette a little bit with the emerald green. But then I took the emerald green and the violet, and I got these wonderful navies. So, 
And this is um, cadmium yellow and rose red. So I got these peachy tones. So, and I know I could get some brilliant oranges out of this too, because you got cadmium red light. And if you mixed it with cadmium yellow, you'd have a really pretty orange. So yeah, this is gonna be a really fun palette to explore with. So let me know if you like these kind of videos. I will, um, as soon as I can, post some links in the description below. Um, but, you know, we'll have to, I have to um, get my blog updated too. So it's almost there. So talk to you later. Thanks, you guys. Like and subscribe. Bye.